Today, we're going over three things that you need to implement into your program that are crucial if you're looking to run and build muscle. I'm a firm believer that you can run and that you can build muscle within your program. You just have to make sure that you're optimizing the three things that we'll talk about today. So if you're looking to train in a hybrid style, give me the next 10 minutes of your attention because I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to run and build muscle. Now, before we hop into it, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Jordan, and I post weekly fitness content to document how I'm training like a hybrid athlete. I'm currently documenting my full sub-135 half marathon prep series, as well as documenting the strength training and the nutrition that goes with that. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure that you subscribe, and if you find anything helpful in the video, hit that thumbs up button for me. So I am currently in my last week of a 12-week build in a half marathon prep series, and over the last 12 weeks, I've strength trained and I've ran and I've blended those two into a program. And one of the big questions that I get asked a lot is, how do you not lose muscle mass? How do you still run and still build muscle mass? Or how do you maintain the muscle mass that you have? And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. Now, I do wanna start off and preface this video by saying that if you are looking to optimize one over the other, say that you are training for a half marathon or a marathon and you're going all in on that goal and you're just completely cutting out strength training or you're decreasing volume, Yes, you may see a decrease in muscle mass and a decrease in strength, but I'm a firm believer that you need to train in specificity and train for what you're specifically trying to improve. And what we're gonna talk about today is in the ideal condition, you wanna be having an equal balance of importance in your training. You wanna make sure that running is equally as important as your strength training and vice versa. And that is one of the big things that will come into play. So if you are placing more of an emphasis on running, say you're running five, six days a week and you're not really strength training, you will see some decrease in muscle mass and some decrease in strength. But if you do what we're gonna talk about today, it'll make sure that you maintain muscle mass and continue to build muscle mass even while running. So I have three main tips for you. And the first tip, we're gonna talk about nutrition. And this is something that is so crucial when you are running and lifting in the same program. And my tip here with nutrition has two different parts. You need to make sure that you're getting enough protein and they're eating enough calories to support your goals. If you're running and if you're lifting, there's a lot of muscle breakdown throughout the week and how you're gonna rebuild muscle tissue and recover from workout to workout so that you can make progress is by having adequate amounts of protein in your diets. You also need to make sure that you're having enough general calories in your diet to make sure that you can give good effort on each workout, that you can recover from workout to workout and avoid any sort of bonking or crashing within a strength training or a running session. Now, if you're looking for more specific guidance on your calories, your macros, how much protein you should be eating a day, I have two different resources on my website. So I have a link down in the comments in the description below where you can go click on that link, fill out a form, and I'll personally do a custom macro calculation for you for free. And then I also have a link on my website where you can download my free macro cheat sheet PDF guide, where it's gonna give you more examples of what are some good carbohydrate sources, what are some good fat sources, what are some good protein sources, so that your diet doesn't get boring. So if you're looking for more specific structure, like I said, head down to the comments in the description at the end of the video, click on that link, and you can check out both of those resources. This is a huge area that people mess up and is something that I messed up in the beginning too when I started running and lifting in my program. Typically, if you're running, you're gonna burn at least 100 calories per mile. So say that you're running 20, 25, 30 miles every week, that's a lot of additional calories that you need to add on top of the calories that you're already burning at rest, that you're burning throughout your strength training sessions, that you're burning throughout your day. So make sure that you're focusing on fueling. And I've talked about this in previous videos before. Try not to focus so much on trying to be shredded all the time or trying to be so lean that you can't perform in your workouts. You need to give yourself enough high quality food. So you're structuring each meal around whole food sources. It's not like you're eating more donuts and cookies and cake and stuff like that. You're just eating more of the already good food that you're eating. And that's, that's a huge tool that you can use. Like I said, that macro cheat sheet, that's gonna give you some more structure and some ideas on the types of food that you can eat. So you can kind of spice things up a little bit and not always eat the same boring meal every single day. Now, as far as protein, one recommendation that I can give you right now is that you need to structure at least 0.8 to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So say for example, I'm 200 pounds. I need to ideally get at least 140 to 200 grams of protein. If you're really looking to maximize your progress and your recovery, especially if you're training in a style where you're mixing, lifting and running, you need to be getting one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So 
Every day, I aim to get 200 grams of protein. This is gonna help you build muscle. It's gonna help you recover from workout to workout and make sure that you're not having this breakdown every workout to where eventually you just break down so far that you can't recover. So my brand of Fit Grind, we have a physical location here, which is a personal training and small group training gym. We also just launched supplements. So if you're looking for a good whey protein powder with zero sugar, 24 grams of protein, and only seven ingredients, while you're on the website, go check that out. Like I said, I'll leave the link in the description below, fitgrindformula.com. You can check out our Fit Grind whey protein powder. Protein powders are just a good addition to the diet to really supplement your diet, to help you reach your daily protein goals. You don't want to structure all of your protein around supplements, but doing one, two, three scoops a day is going to help you increase your total protein and help you reach that daily protein goal a little bit easier. My second tip is going to revolve more around your training. So when you're running and you're lifting and you're combining both of those in your program, one of the biggest things that you can do to make sure that you are bare minimum maintaining your muscle mass, but also to progress and build muscle mass is to focus on getting stronger from week to week and focus on your progression in the gym. That is one of the most foundational things that you can do in the gym is to progressively overload. So that can come by adding weight from week to week. That can come by adding reps from week to week. That can come from adding more sets, so more volume. That can come by creating more time and attention. There's lots of ways you can overload. But if you focus on your progress from week to week in the gym, you're constantly telling your body that you need the muscle mass to get through the workouts that you're doing. So it's not going to get rid of muscle mass. It's going to hold on to muscle mass. Say, for example, you're doing 100 pounds for three sets of 10 and you successfully get that in week one and week two, you would try to at least get maybe three sets of 11 with the same weight, or you would increase weight and try to get three sets of 10 and you just kind of be competitive with yourself from week to week. And that is the whole foundation of building muscle mass and maintaining muscle mass, especially as you're lifting and running. If you find yourself running and you find yourself lightening up weights and you're getting weaker from week to week, that is a huge area where you could run into losing strength, losing muscle mass. And that's something that we really want to avoid. So focus on progressing from week to week, getting stronger and just having fun inside the gym and, and really challenging yourself to beat what you did last time. My third tip is something that we kind of talked about in the beginning, but I want to talk about overall training volume and your specific goal. For the sake of this video, we're talking about hybrid training, mixing lifting and running. And let's say that they had an equal importance that lifting and running, you were 50% of the time you're lifting 50% of the time you're running. Now, any time that the volume on one goes up, the other one has to come down. You can't add five miles every week and five pounds to every exercise forever because eventually your body's going to break down and it's going to be too much. So say that you do place an emphasis on running. That is an area where you are going to run into potential muscle loss and strength loss or vice versa. Say that you put more of an emphasis on strength training and decrease emphasis on running. That's where you're going to decondition a little bit and you may see some just inefficiency in running. But I'm a big believer that you need to focus on what your specific goals are. And you can go back and forth between phases of lifting more, running more, or you can have an equal importance balance of lifting and running in your program. And that's kind of the beauty of training in this hybrid style where you're mixing lifting and running is it allows you the freedom to set a goal based on what your specific goals are. And that can change. So currently right now, like I said, I'm training for this half marathon. There is a little bit more emphasis placed on that running. And throughout the 12 weeks of this prep, you know, up until the last couple of weeks, I haven't noticed any sort of strength loss, just as the mileage starts to get higher and there's more emphasis on running and there's harder workouts. I have noticed, you know, that some exercises are just a little more grindier. Uh, maybe there's a little bit of strength loss, but that's natural. That's going to happen. And I know that after I'm done with this half marathon, I'm ready to get back to more emphasis on strength training and just kind of have an equal balance of running and lifting in my program and training in a hybrid style. So my third tip for you is more to say that you should focus on your specific goals, whether that is right now you want to lift more, build more muscle, you want to have more emphasis in that. You still need to do some sort of conditioning, in this case running, and make sure that you maintain a base. You never want to completely cut it out or vice versa. Say that you're training for a marathon and there's a lot of running. You're running 50, 60, 70 miles a week. And it's hard to fit a lot of strength training in. Make sure that you still get some strength training in. Make sure they don't completely cut it out of your program. That's a huge area we're going to run into losing muscle tissue and a significant amount of muscle loss if you completely cut it out of your program. So figure out what you want to do, figure out what your specific goals are. And just because maybe you have more of an endurance goal right now, doesn't mean that you cut out strength training or vice versa. Just because you have more of a strength training based goal, doesn't mean that you should cut out running and cardiovascular training. You want an equal balance of both in the program. They can go up, they can go down depending on the goals that you set, but always have both in your program. 
So those are my three tips on how you can run and build muscle at the same time. If you found anything helpful in the video, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. And if you made it to this point in the video, consider subscribing. I'm gonna leave my full sub 135 half marathon playlist at the top of the screen here next, as well as another video if you go watch here next. Make sure you check those out. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're looking for more structure around your macros and your nutrition, go check out those two different resources that I have on my website. The link is in the comments in the description below, or you can head over to fitgrindformula.com. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.